So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys I bring you 10 plus of the rarest weapons in this game. How's it going guys? My name's DPG and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So you may be wondering what's considered a rare weapon? A weapon that's hard to get? A weapon that's hard to find, a weapon that you can easily miss, a weapon that's hard to come across, well, all of the above. Today I bring you 10 plus weapons I believe are the rarest. You guys may not believe that, that's completely fine, but to me, having almost 500 hours in the game, these are seemingly the rare weapons not as many people are talking about. Now please don't get it twisted, none of these weapons I would consider are extremely OP or game breaking or muskets, this that and the other, they're just considered rare in my opinion. Any other opinion on any weapon I mentioned today is besides the point of this video, so let's get into it guys. And first up people we have the Death Ritual Spear. So the Death Ritual Spear it scales with strength, dexterity and intelligence, has a great and powerful weapon skill called spear core ritual now this drops from a death right bird which i believe only appears at night found within the mountain tops of the giants seen on screen now so yeah guys the death ritual spear is actually a great weapon i'm not gonna lie it's definitely one for the collection and it is real easily missed next up people we have the monk's flame blade so the monk's flame blade is a curved greatsword it scales with strength and dexterity and has the standard spinning slash weapon skill, meaning you can obviously put an Ash of War on it. Now as far as I'm aware, there's only literally two or three enemies on the entire map that drop this weapon, and it ain't the usual fire monks either. This can drop from a fire monk within the giant conquering hero's grave seen on the map right here. There's literally one of these guys within this hero's grave that drops this. And I'm pretty certain as well guys, there's two at the very bottom just before the boss fight within the Divine Tower of Khalid, which you're seeing right here on the map. But yeah, the Monk's Flame Blade guys is a proper rare weapon, one I see barely anyone talking about. Okay, so next up people, we have the Death's Polka. So the Death's Polka is a great sword with a twist. It scales with strength, dexterity and intelligence. Its weapon skill is actually pretty cool and unique called the Ghost Flame Ignition, looking amazing. Now this weapon drops also from a Death Right Bird, only encountered at night. And this Death Right Bird guys you can find right here via the map. Again guys, come here at night, this thing will spawn in, take it out and you'll get this pretty rare yeah, amazing weapon. Next up guys, we have the Magma Blade. Now this is another curved sword and it scales with strength, faith and dexterity. Its weapon skill is called Magma Shower. Pretty amazing as you can see on screen now. Now if I were you, although it is a rare drop, I'd try your hardest to actually farm two of these things. Because yes, you will have to farm these, you'll have to kill the same enemy over and over. But geo wielding these is absolutely incredible. And well, as far as I'm aware, guys, it drops from literally two enemies I've seen. And they are within Volcano Manor. So they are the lizard men. You'll, you'll know them as soon as you see them. They've got the swords that are glowing within that lava. You can see them on his screen right now, guys. I've actually got a full guide as I have for many of the weapons showcased today. So if you want an actual in-depth guide on how you can farm these, you'll find them linked down below within the video description. But yeah guys, the Magma Blades are incredible. They are super rare, they are a rare drop, but they are weapons I definitely recommend you getting. Next up guys, we have the Mantis Blade. Now this is yet another curved sword. This one scales with strength, dexterity, and is a beast of a weapon. It's heavy attack, Basically, the weapon doubles itself up. That Mantis Blades opens up. It's incredible. Now, its weapon skill is spinning slash. You can apply Ash of Wars to this thing. So, it's definitely worth your time getting. Now, as far as I'm aware, this drops from one enemy 
not being a boss, hiding in a dark corner within the Gilmere's Heroes Break. The enemy is called the Cemetery Shade. But yeah, again guys, full guide into getting this weapon, link down below. But the Mantis Blade is super unique. I do believe you can farm for a second one, because after you kill this enemy, well for me anyway, drop first time. I don't know if it's a guaranteed drop first time for everybody. But either way, he does respawn, meaning you should be able to farm for a second one of these. So yeah. Go get this thing people. Next up guys we have the Envoy's Great Horn. So the Envoy's Great Horn is actually one of three uh, horn weapons within this game. The Envoy's Horn weapons. It's not the best in my opinion but it's definitely the rarest. So this Kyle Lofts a weapon scales with strength, dexterity and that faith. Dealing incredible holy damage and its weapon skill is called Great Oracular Bubble. And it's quite potent. Now this is dropped by the giant oracle envoys and these are found within the Halid tree area. I believe there's literally two or three within this spot. For me it does seem like a super rare drop but hey if you are farming any weapon from today's video guys get yourself the silver tier mask dropping from the mimic tier boss also the silver scarab guys these boost that discovery meaning it ups the drop rates of certain items like these guide for them as well people i will link down below but yeah the envoy's great horn is a great great weapon for sure so do check it out next up people we have the spiked spear now this is a weapon that scales with strength and dexterity it's a great weapon for those melee users and you can also put an ash of war on this thing now personally it's probably the least rarest of the weapons i will list today but for me i had over 400 hours in the game before i saw this thing drop that isn't an indication of how rare this thing is, it's just an indication of how many times I've come across the enemies that drop this thing. Now this is a weapon that drops from the 6 spear wielding marionette soldiers, which can be found in certain locations on the map. I actually got mine from Mount Gilmia, just randomly dropping from an enemy I didn't even know dropped a weapon. But there are quite a few of these marionette soldiers around the converted tower. But yeah guys, the spike spear for me is seemingly a super rare weapon. One I've seen barely any videos on, I've barely saw anyone talk about it, so hey, check it out. Okay, so next up guys, we have two weapons that drop from, well, two of the same enemy in the Rotten Duelist. Now there's three of these located within the uh, mountaintops of the Giants, by the hidden path to the Halig Tree area. The weapons are the Rotten Great Axe and the Rotten Battle Hammer. Now guide to both of these will be found down below. Now the Great Axe uh, scales with strength and dexterity and its weapon skill is Endure. You can apply an Ash of War to this thing. It also causes that Scarlet Rot build up. Pretty cool. The Rotten Battle Hammer also causes that Scarlet Rot build up. Scales with strength and dexterity. Again, Lash of War can be used on this thing. And hey, if weapons that cause that Scarlet Rot build up are for you, these two rare monstrous weapons may be just up your street. Next up guys, we have the Beastman's Cleaver. Now this to me is probably the rarest weapon I will cover today. Even though there are a couple of the enemies scattered around the dragon's temple. I mean, it's just such a super rare drop well for me anyway i've got to pull it up there guys i really have so the beastman's cleaver scales with strength and dexterity it is a curved greatsword a monstrous one for that and it drops from the azula beastman you'll know which ones guys because they're carrying this weapon now the best spot i found to farm these is two near the dragon temple lift grace which you can spawn just take down and farm these things people yeah the beastman's cleaver is a monstrous weapon it's a weapon you can put an ash of war on but it is super rare at the same time and finally guys well three weapons the rotten crystal staff the rotten crystal spear and the rotten crystal sword these are three weapons that all cause that scarlet rot build up none of these weapons can be infused with an ash of war and the ore drop more like, well besides the sword the sword is actually gotten from a chest which isn't actually super rare but hey i thought i'd add it to the group of the uh well it's family of weapons which i'm covering today in the crystal staff and the crystal sword which are rare drops these drop from the crystallian mages and other crystallian enemies within the halig tree area now these are tanky as heck and are hard enough to farm but with these being quite rare drops as well and only dropping from these enemies guys it's why i've added them to this list 
So the Rotten Staff scales with uh, Strength and Intellect. The Rotten Crystal Spear scales with Strength, Intellect and Dexterity. And the Rotten Crystal Sword is again Strength, Dexterity and Intellect. Now the Rotten Sword is actually found in a chest guarded by three Crystallians. Weirdly enough guys, two of these Crystallians have uh, the Spears and the one has the Staff. This is the one spot which in my opinion is the best spot to farm and get both of these weapons as well as at the same time getting the sword from the chest behind them. But yeah guys, pretty rare weapons. One you don't see many people talking about or using, but are actually quite good. And there we have it guys, 10 plus of the rarest weapons in this game. Guys, if you have a rare weapon you don't see many people talking about or being covered on YouTube, let the world know while it is down below. On that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more out of ring, be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people, I will see you on that next one.